Part 1, Listening Test I'm planning a trip to Australia, and I'm trying to decide what to see. What are some of the must-see attractions? There are so many great places to see in Australia, but if I had to choose, I'd say the Sydney Opera House, Uluru, and the Great Barrier Reef are the most iconic. The Sydney Opera House is definitely on my list. I've always wanted to see it in person. It's even more amazing than you can imagine. And if you're there, you have to go to a show. Uluru is on my list too. I've heard it's a really spiritual place. It is. It's a sacred site for the Aboriginal people, and it's definitely worth the trip. And the Great Barrier Reef? I've heard it's the most beautiful place on Earth. It is. It's an incredible underwater world, and it's definitely a must-see for any diver or snorkeler. Thanks for the recommendations. I think I'm going to have to add all of those places to my itinerary. No problem. I hope you have a great time in Australia. I'm sure I will. Part 2. Listening Training I'm planning a trip to Australia, and I'm trying to decide what to see. What are some of the must-see attractions? I'm planning a trip to Australia, and I'm trying to decide what to see. What are some of the must-see attractions? I'm planning a trip to Australia, and I'm trying to decide what to see. What are some of the must-see attractions? I'm planning a trip to Australia, and I'm trying to decide what to see. What are some of the must-see attractions? There are so many great places to see in Australia, but if I had to choose, I'd say the Sydney Opera House, Uluru, and the Great Barrier Reef are the most iconic. There are so many great places to see in Australia. But if I had to choose, I'd say the Sydney Opera House, Uluru, and the Great Barrier Reef are the most iconic. There are so many great places to see in Australia. But if I had to choose, I'd say the Sydney Opera House, Uluru, and the Great Barrier Reef are the most iconic. There are so many great places to see in Australia. But if I had to choose, I'd say the Sydney Opera House, Uluru, and the Great Barrier Reef are the most iconic. The Sydney Opera House is definitely on my list. I've always wanted to see it in person. The Sydney Opera House is definitely on my list. I've always wanted to see it in person. The Sydney Opera House is definitely on my list. I've always wanted to see it in person. The Sydney Opera House is definitely on my list. I've always wanted to see it in person. It's even more amazing than you can imagine. And if you're there, you have to go to a show. It's even more amazing than you can imagine. And if you're there, you have to go to a show. It's even more amazing than you can imagine. And if you're there, you have to go to a show. It's even more amazing than you can imagine. And if you're there, you have to go to a show. Uluru is on my list too. I've heard it's a really spiritual place. Uluru is on my list too. I've heard it's a really spiritual place. Uluru is on my list too. I've heard it's a really spiritual place. Uluru is on my list too. I've heard it's a really spiritual place. It is. It's a sacred site for the Aboriginal people, and it's definitely worth the trip. It is. It's a sacred site for the Aboriginal people, and it's definitely worth the trip. 
It is. It's a sacred site for the Aboriginal people, and it's definitely worth the trip. It is. It's a sacred site for the Aboriginal people, and it's definitely worth the trip. And the Great Barrier Reef? I've heard it's the most beautiful place on Earth. And the Great Barrier Reef? I've heard it's the most beautiful place on Earth. And the Great Barrier Reef? I've heard it's the most beautiful place on Earth. And the Great Barrier Reef? I've heard it's the most beautiful place on Earth. It is. It's an incredible underwater world, and it's definitely a must-see for any diver or snorkeler. It is. It's an incredible underwater world, and it's definitely a must-see for any diver or snorkeler. It is. It's an incredible underwater world, and it's definitely a must-see for any diver or snorkeler. It is. It's an incredible underwater world, and it's definitely a must-see for any diver or snorkeler. Thanks for the recommendations. I think I'm going to have to add all of those places to my itinerary. Thanks for the recommendations. I think I'm going to have to add all of those places to my itinerary. Thanks for the recommendations. I think I'm going to have to add all of those places to my itinerary. Thanks for the recommendations. I think I'm going to have to add all of those places to my itinerary. No problem. I hope you have a great time in Australia. No problem. I hope you have a great time in Australia. No problem. I hope you have a great time in Australia. No problem. I hope you have a great time in Australia. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Part 1. Listening Test Hi, I'm here to apply for a tourist visa to the United States. Okay, I can help you with that. Can I see your passport? Sure, here it is. Thank you. Now, I need you to fill out this visa application form. Okay, I'll do that. Great. Now, I need you to take a photograph for your visa. Okay, where can I do that? There's a photo booth right over there. Okay, now I need you to pay the visa application fee. How much is it? It's $160. Okay, here you go. Okay, I will ask a few questions at the end. You just have to answer truthfully, and the visa will be done. Thank you. You're welcome. Your visa will be processed within two weeks. You will be notified by email when your visa is ready to be picked up. Okay, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Part 2. Listening Training Hi. I'm here to apply for a tourist visa to the United States. Hi. I'm here to apply for a tourist visa to the United States. Hi. I'm here to apply for a tourist visa to the United States. Hi. I'm here to apply for a tourist visa to the United States. Okay. I can help you with that. Can I see your passport? Okay. I can help you with that. Can I see your passport? Okay. I can help you with that. Can I see your passport? Okay. I can help you with that. Can I see your passport? 
Sure, here it is. Sure, here it is. Sure, here it is. Sure, here it is. Thank you. Now, I need you to fill out this visa application form. Thank you. Now, I need you to fill out this visa application form. Thank you. Now, I need you to fill out this visa application form. Thank you. Now, I need you to fill out this visa application form. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that. Great. Now, I need you to take a photograph for your visa. Great. Now, I need you to take a photograph for your visa. Great. Now, I need you to take a photograph for your visa. Great. Now, I need you to take a photograph for your visa. Okay, where can I do that? 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 There's a photo booth right over there. 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 Okay, now I need you to pay the visa application fee. Okay, now I need you to pay the visa application fee. Okay, now I need you to pay the visa application fee. Okay, now I need you to pay the visa application fee. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? It's one hundred sixty dollars. 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 Okay, here you go. Okay, here you go. Okay, here you go. Okay, here you go. Okay, I will ask a few questions at the end. You just have to answer truthfully, and the visa will be done. Okay, I will ask a few questions at the end. You just have to answer truthfully, and the visa will be done. Okay, I will ask a few questions at the end. You just have to answer truthfully, and the visa will be done. Okay, I will ask a few questions at the end. You just have to answer truthfully, and the visa will be done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Your visa will be processed within two weeks. You're welcome. Your visa will be processed within two weeks. You're welcome. Your visa will be processed within two weeks. You're welcome. Your visa will be processed within two weeks. You will be notified by email when your visa is ready to be picked up. You will be notified by email when your visa is ready to be picked up. You will be notified by email when your visa is ready to be picked up. You will be notified by email 
When your visa is ready to be picked up. Okay, thank you for your help. 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 You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Part 1. Listening Test I'm thinking of visiting the UK soon. What are some fun tourist attractions there? There are so many great places to visit in the UK. Here are a few of my favorites. London, the capital city of the UK. London is full of history, culture, and things to do. You could spend weeks exploring all the museums, historical sites, and shops. Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Edinburgh is a beautiful city with a rich history. You can visit the castle, explore the old town, or take a walk along the Royal Mile. Stonehenge, this ancient monument is located in the English countryside. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular tourist attractions in the UK. The Lake District. This beautiful region in England is known for its stunning scenery, lakes, and mountains. There are plenty of hiking trails, water sports, and villages to explore. Cotswolds. This charming region in England is known for its rolling hills, villages, and honey-colored cottages. It's a great place to go for a relaxing day out. Those all sound great. I think I'll start planning my trip. Have fun. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Part 2. Listening Training I'm thinking of visiting the UK soon. What are some fun tourist attractions there? I'm thinking of visiting the UK soon. What are some fun tourist attractions there? I'm thinking of visiting the UK soon. What are some fun tourist attractions there? I'm thinking of visiting the UK soon. What are some fun tourist attractions there? There are so many great places to visit in the UK. Here are a few of my favorites. There are so many great places to visit in the UK. Here are a few of my favorites. There are so many great places to visit in the UK. Here are a few of my favorites. There are so many great places to visit in the UK. Here are a few of my favorites. London, the capital city of the UK. London is full of history, culture, and things to do. London, the capital city of the UK. London is full of history, culture, and things to do. London, the capital city of the UK. London is full of history, culture, and things to do. London, the capital city of the UK. London is full of history, culture, and things to do. You could spend weeks exploring all the museums, historical sites, and shops. You could spend weeks exploring all the museums, historical sites, and shops.
you could spend weeks exploring all the museums, historical sites, and shops. You could spend weeks exploring all the museums, historical sites, and shops. Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Edinburgh is a beautiful city with a rich history. Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Edinburgh is a beautiful city with a rich history. Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Edinburgh is a beautiful city with a rich history. Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Edinburgh is a beautiful city with a rich history. You can visit the castle, explore the old town, or take a walk along the Royal Mile. You can visit the castle, explore the old town, or take a walk along the Royal Mile. You can visit the castle, explore the old town, or take a walk along the Royal Mile. You can visit the castle, explore the old town, or take a walk along the Royal Mile. Stonehenge. This ancient monument is located in the English countryside. Stonehenge. This ancient monument is located in the English countryside. Stonehenge. This ancient monument is located in the English countryside. Stonehenge. This ancient monument is located in the English countryside. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular tourist attractions in the UK. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular tourist attractions in the UK. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular tourist attractions in the UK. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular tourist attractions in the UK. The Lake District. This beautiful region in England is known for its stunning scenery, lakes, and mountains. The Lake District. This beautiful region in England is known for its stunning scenery, lakes, and mountains. The Lake District. This beautiful region in England is known for its stunning scenery, lakes, and mountains. The Lake District. This beautiful region in England is known for its stunning scenery, lakes, and mountains. There are plenty of hiking trails, water sports, and villages to explore. There are plenty of hiking trails, water sports, and villages to explore. There are plenty of hiking trails, water sports, and villages to explore. There are plenty of hiking trails, water sports, and villages to explore. Cotswolds. This charming region in England is known for its rolling hills, villages, and honey-colored cottages. Cotswolds. 
This charming region in England is known for its rolling hills, villages, and honey-colored cottages. Cotswolds This charming region in England is known for its rolling hills, villages, and honey-colored cottages. Cotswolds this charming region in England is known for its rolling hills, villages, and honey-colored cottages. It's a great place to go for a relaxing day out. It's a great place to go for a relaxing day out. It's a great place to go for a relaxing day out. It's a great place to go for a relaxing day out. Those all sound great. I think I'll start planning my trip. Those all sound great. I think I'll start planning my trip. Those all sound great. I think I'll start planning my trip. Those all sound great. I think I'll start planning my trip. Have fun. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Have fun. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Have fun. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Have fun. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Part 1. Listening Test Hi. I'd like to make a reservation to London next week. Sure. I can help you with that. What day would you like to depart? I'm thinking of leaving on Tuesday, July 19th. Okay, and what time of day would you like to depart? I'd like to leave in the morning if possible. We have a direct flight that leaves at 10 a.m., would that work for you? Yes, that would be perfect. Great, I'll book that for you. Would you like an economy class or first class seat? I'd like an economy class seat, please. Okay, and would you like a window or owl seat? I'd like a window seat, please. Okay, I've booked you a window seat in economy class on the flight that leaves at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, July the 19th. Your confirmation number is 123,456. Thank you. Can I change my reservation if I need to? Yes. You can change your reservation up to 24 hours before your flight. Okay, thanks. Where do I pick up my ticket? You can pick up your ticket at the airport counter. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Part 2. Listening Training Hi. I'd like to make a reservation to London next week. Hi. I'd like to make a reservation to London next week. Hi. I'd like to make a reservation to London next week. Hi. I'd like to make a reservation to London next week. Sure. I can help you with that. What day would you like to depart? Sure. I can help you with that. What day would you like to depart? Sure. I can help you with that. What day would you like to depart? Sure. I can help you with that. What day would you like to depart? I'm thinking of leaving on Tuesday, July 19th. I'm thinking of leaving on Tuesday, July 19th. 
I'm thinking of leaving on Tuesday, July 19. I'm thinking of leaving on Tuesday, July 19. Okay, and what time of day would you like to depart? Okay, and what time of day would you like to depart? Okay, and what time of day would you like to depart? Okay, and what time of day would you like to depart? I'd like to leave in the morning if possible. I'd like to leave in the morning if possible. I'd like to leave in the morning if possible. I'd like to leave in the morning if possible. We have a direct flight that leaves at 10 a.m. Would that work for you? We have a direct flight that leaves at 10 a.m. Would that work for you? We have a direct flight that leaves at 10 a.m. Would that work for you? We have a direct flight that leaves at 10 a.m. Would that work for you? Yes. That would be perfect. Yes, that would be perfect. Yes, that would be perfect. Yes, that would be perfect. Great, I'll book that for you. Would you like an economy class or first class seat? Great, I'll book that for you. Would you like an economy class? or first class seat. Great, I'll book that for you. Would you like an economy class or first class seat? Great, I'll book that for you. Would you like an economy class or first class seat? I'd like an economy class seat, please. 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 Okay, and would you like a window or owl seat? Okay, and would you like a window or owl seat? Okay, and would you like a window or owl seat? Okay, and would you like a window or owl seat? I'd like a window seat, please. 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 Okay, I've booked you a window seat in economy class on the flight that leaves at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, July the 19th. Your confirmation number is 123,456. Okay. I've booked you a window seat in economy class on the flight that leaves at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, July the 19th. Your confirmation number is 123,456. Okay, I've booked you a window seat in economy class on the flight that leaves at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, July the 19th. Your confirmation number is 123,456. Okay, I've booked you a window seat in economy class on the flight that leaves at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, July the 19th. Your confirmation number is 123,456. Thank you. Can I change my reservation if I need to? Thank you. Can I change my reservation if I need to? Thank you. Can I change my reservation if I need to? Thank you. Can I change my reservation if I need to? Yes, you can change your reservation up to 24 hours before your flight. Yes, 
You can change your reservation up to 24 hours before your flight. Yes, you can change your reservation up to 24 hours before your flight. Yes, you can change your reservation up to 24 hours before your flight. Okay, thanks. Where do I pick up my ticket? Okay, thanks. Where do I pick up my ticket? Okay, thanks. Where do I pick up my ticket? Okay, thanks. Where do I pick up my ticket? You can pick up your ticket at the airport counter. You can pick up your ticket at the airport counter. You can pick up your ticket at the airport counter. You can pick up your ticket at the airport counter. Thank you for your help. 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 You're welcome. Have a safe trip. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Part 1. Listening Test Hey, have you heard about the Diablo for Rat rumor? No, what's that? Some people are saying that if you follow the rats in the dungeons, they'll lead you to better loot. That's crazy! Is there any evidence to support that? Well, there's a couple of Reddit posts where people swear that it worked for them. But there's no way to know for sure if it's true. I guess it doesn't hurt to try, right? Sure, but don't get your hopes up. It's probably just a coincidence. Well, I'm still going to try it. I'm always looking for ways to get better loot. Good luck. Let me know if it works for you. Will do. In the meantime, I'm going to keep grinding for that ring of Mendel. Good luck with that, too. Thanks. Part 2. Listening Training Hey, have you heard about the Diablo for Rat Rumor? Hey, have you heard about the Diablo for Rat Rumor? Hey, have you heard about the Diablo for Rat Rumor? Hey. Have you heard about the Diablo for Rat rumor? No, what's that? No, what's that? No, what's that? No, what's that? Some people are saying that if you follow the rats in the dungeons, they'll lead you to better loot. Some people are saying that if you follow the rats in the dungeons, they'll lead you to better loot. Some people are saying that if you follow the rats in the dungeons, they'll lead you to better loot. Some people are saying that if you follow the rats in the dungeons, they'll lead you to better loot. That's crazy. Is there any evidence to support that? That's crazy. Is there any evidence to support that? That's crazy. Is there any evidence to support that? That's crazy. Is there any evidence to support that? Well, there's a couple of Reddit posts where people swear that it worked for them. Well, 
There's a couple of Reddit posts where people swear that it worked for them. Well, there's a couple of Reddit posts where people swear that it worked for them. Well, there's a couple of Reddit posts where people swear that it worked for them. But there's no way to know for sure if it's true. But there's no way to know for sure if it's true. But there's no way to know for sure if it's true. But there's no way to know for sure if it's true. I guess it doesn't hurt to try, right? 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 Sure, but don't get your hopes up. It's probably just a coincidence. Sure, but don't get your hopes up. It's probably just a coincidence. Sure, but don't get your hopes up. It's probably just a coincidence. Sure, but don't get your hopes up. It's probably just a coincidence. Well, I'm still going to try it. I'm always looking for ways to get better loot. Well, I'm still going to try it. I'm always looking for ways to get better loot. Well, I'm still going to try it. I'm always looking for ways to get better loot. Well, I'm still going to try it. I'm always looking for ways to get better loot. Good luck. Let me know if it works for you. Good luck. Let me know if it works for you. Good luck. Let me know if it works for you. Good luck. Let me know if it works for you. Will do. Will do. Will do. Will do. In the meantime, I'm going to keep grinding for that ring of Mendel. In the meantime, I'm going to keep grinding for that ring of Mendel. In the meantime, I'm going to keep grinding for that ring of Mendel. In the meantime, I'm going to keep grinding for that ring of Mendel. Good luck with that too. 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 Thanks. 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 Part 3. One question. Will Jack try the rumor? Part 1. Listening Test Hey Lily, have you heard about the new NBA 2K24 game? Yeah, I saw the trailer. It looks really cool. I'm definitely going to get it. Me too. I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan, so I'm excited to play as him. Yeah, me too. I'm also looking forward to trying out the new Mamba Moments mode. What's that? It's a mode where you can recreate some of Kobe's most memorable performances. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure it will be. So, are you ready for the release date? I am. September 8th can't come soon enough.
Me neither. I'm counting down the days. Part 2. Listening Training Hey Lily, have you heard about the new NBA 2K24 game? Hey Lily, have you heard about the new NBA 2K24 game? Hey Lily, have you heard about the new NBA 2K24 game? Hey Lily, have you heard about the new NBA 2K24 game? Yeah, I saw the trailer. It looks really cool. Yeah, I saw the trailer. It looks really cool. Yeah, I saw the trailer. It looks really cool. Yeah, I saw the trailer. It looks really cool. I'm definitely going to get it. 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 Me too. I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan, so I'm excited to play as him. Me too. I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan, so I'm excited to play as him. Me too. I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan, so I'm excited to play as him. Me too. I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan, so I'm excited to play as him. Yeah, me too. I'm also looking forward to trying out the new Mamba Moments mode. Yeah, me too. I'm also looking forward to trying out the new Mamba Moments mode. Yeah, me too. I'm also looking forward to trying out the new Mamba Moments mode. Yeah, me too. I'm also looking forward to trying out the new Mamba Moments mode. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? It's a mode where you can recreate some of Kobe's most memorable performances. It's a mode where you can recreate some of Kobe's most memorable performances. It's a mode where you can recreate some of Kobe's most memorable performances. It's a mode where you can recreate some of Kobe's most memorable performances. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure it will be. 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 So, are you ready for the release date? 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 I am. September 8th can't come soon enough. 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 Me neither. I'm counting down the days. Me neither. I'm counting down the days. 
Me neither. I'm counting down the days. Me neither. I'm counting down the days. Part 1. Listening Test Hey, have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 yet? Yeah, I saw it last night and it was amazing. I loved the way they handled Rocket's backstory. It was so sad, but it also made me appreciate him even more. And the action scenes were incredible. I especially loved the one where they're fighting the high evolutionaries creatures. Yeah, that was a great scene. And in 2018, James Gunn designed an animated character for Stan Lee. That was a really touching tribute. Sadly, Stan Lee has left us, but that was really thoughtful of James Gunn. Overall, I thought it was a great movie and a fitting end to the Guardians trilogy. I agree. I'm really going to miss these characters. Me too, but at least we'll always have the movies to go back to. That's true, and I'm sure there will be more Guardians adventures in the future. I hope so. Part 2. Listening Training Hey, have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 yet? Hey, have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 yet? Hey, have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 yet? Hey, have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 yet? Yeah, I saw it last night and it was amazing. Yeah. I saw it last night, and it was amazing. Yeah, I saw it last night, and it was amazing. Yeah, I saw it last night, and it was amazing. I loved the way they handled Rocket's backstory. I loved the way they handled Rocket's backstory. I love the way they handled Rocket's backstory. I love the way they handled Rocket's backstory. It was so sad, but it also made me appreciate him even more. It was so sad, but it also made me appreciate him even more. It was so sad but it also made me appreciate him even more. It was so sad, but it also made me appreciate him even more. And the action scenes were incredible. 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 I especially loved the one where they're fighting the high evolutionaries creatures. I especially loved the one where they're fighting the high evolutionaries creatures. I especially loved the one where they're fighting the high evolutionaries creatures. I especially loved the one where they're fighting the high evolutionaries creatures. Yeah, that was a great scene. 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 And in 2018, James Gunn designed an animated character for Stan Lee. And in 2018, James Gunn designed an animated character for Stan Lee. And in 2018, James Gunn designed an animated character for Stan Lee. And in 2018, 
James Gunn designed an animated character for Stan Lee. That was a really touching tribute. 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 Sadly, Stan Lee has left us, but that was really thoughtful of James Gunn. Sadly, Stan Lee has left us, but that was really thoughtful of James Gunn. Sadly, Stan Lee has left us, but that was really thoughtful of James Gunn. Sadly, Stan Lee has left us, but that was really thoughtful of James Gunn. Overall, I thought it was a great movie and a fitting end to the Guardians trilogy. Overall, I thought it was a great movie and a fitting end to the Guardians trilogy. Overall, I thought it was a great movie and a fitting end to the Guardians trilogy. Overall, I thought it was a great movie and a fitting end to the Guardians trilogy. I agree. I'm really going to miss these characters. I agree. I'm really going to miss these characters. I agree. I'm really going to miss these characters. I agree. I'm really going to miss these characters. Me too, but at least we'll always have the movies to go back to. Me too. But at least we'll always have the movies to go back to. Me too, but at least we'll always have the movies to go back to. Me too, but at least we'll always have the movies to go back to. That's true, and I'm sure there will be more Guardians adventures in the future. That's true. And I'm sure there will be more Guardians adventures in the future. That's true. And I'm sure there will be more Guardians adventures in the future. That's true. And I'm sure there will be more Guardians adventures in the future. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Part 1. Listening Test I just saw The Flash and I really enjoyed it. Oh really? I've been meaning to see it. What did you like about it? I thought it was a really fresh and unique take on the superhero movie genre. The time travel plot was really interesting, and I loved the way they explored the idea of regret and redemption. Yeah, I've heard that the time travel stuff is really good. I'm also a big fan of Batman, so I'm excited to see Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton in the same movie. Yeah, the Batman stuff was really great too. I thought Affleck was really good as Batman and it was cool to see him interact with Keaton's version of the character. Overall, it sounds like you really like the movie. Would you recommend it? Definitely. I think it's one of the better superhero movies that I've seen in a while. If you're a fan of The Flash or Batman, then you'll definitely want to check it out. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll definitely add it to my watch list. Part 2. Listening Training I just saw The Flash and I really enjoyed it. I just saw The Flash and I really enjoyed it. I just saw The Flash and I really enjoyed it. I just saw The Flash and I really enjoyed it. 
Oh really? I've been meaning to see it. What did you like about it? Oh really? I've been meaning to see it. What did you like about it? Oh really? I've been meaning to see it. What did you like about it? Oh really? I've been meaning to see it. What did you like about it? I thought it was a really fresh and unique take on the superhero movie genre. I thought it was a really fresh and unique take on the superhero movie genre. I thought it was a really fresh and unique take on the superhero movie genre. I thought it was a really fresh and unique take on the superhero movie genre. The time travel plot was really interesting, and I loved the way they explored the idea of regret and redemption. The time travel plot was really interesting, and I loved the way they explored the idea of regret and redemption. The time travel plot was really interesting, and I loved the way they explored the idea of regret and redemption. The time travel plot was really interesting, and I loved the way they explored the idea of regret and redemption. Yeah, I've heard that the time travel stuff is really good. Yeah, I've heard that the time travel stuff is really good. Yeah, I've heard that the time travel stuff is really good. Yeah, I've heard that the time travel stuff is really good. I'm also a big fan of Batman, so I'm excited to see Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton in the same movie. I'm also a big fan of Batman, so I'm excited to see Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton in the same movie. I'm also a big fan of Batman, so I'm excited to see Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton in the same movie. I'm also a big fan of Batman, so I'm excited to see Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton in the same movie. Yeah, the Batman stuff was really great too. 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 I thought Affleck was really good as Batman, and it was cool to see him interact with Keaton's version of the character. I thought Affleck was really good as Batman, and it was cool to see him interact with Keaton's version of the character. I thought Affleck was really good as Batman, and it was cool to see him interact with Keaton's version of the character. I thought Affleck was really good as Batman, and it was cool to see him interact with Keaton's version of the character. Overall, it sounds like you really like the movie. Would you recommend it? Overall, it sounds like you really like the movie. Would you recommend it? Overall, it sounds like you really like the movie. Would you recommend it? Overall, it sounds like you really like the movie. Would you recommend it? Definitely. I think it's one of the better superhero movies that I've seen in a while. Definitely, I think it's one of the better superhero movies that I've seen in a while. Definitely, I think it's one of the better superhero movies that I've seen in a while. Definitely, I think it's one of the better superhero movies that I've seen in a while. If you're a fan of The Flash or Batman, then you'll definitely want to check it out. If you're a fan of The Flash or Batman, then you'll definitely want to check it out. If you're a fan of The Flash or Batman, then you'll definitely want to check it out.
If you're a fan of The Flash or Batman, then you'll definitely want to check it out. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll definitely add it to my watch list. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll definitely add it to my watch list. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll definitely add it to my watch list. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll definitely add it to my watch list. Part 1. Listening Test Did you hear about the new Hayao Miyazaki film? No, what's it called? It's called How Do You Live. Oh, that sounds interesting. What's it about? It's set in Japan during World War II. It's about a young boy who loses his mother in a fire and then goes on a journey to find her. Wow, that sounds like a heavy topic. It is, but it's also supposed to be really beautiful. Miyazaki is a master at creating these magical worlds that are also full of heart. I'm definitely going to check it out. Me too. I'm really excited to see what he does with this film. Do you think it will be his last film? I'm not sure. He's said in the past that he's going to retire, but then he keeps making more films. Well, I hope he keeps making them for as long as he can. His films are always so special. Me too. He's a true master of animation. Part 2 Listening Training Did you hear about the new Hayao Miyazaki film? Did you hear about the new Hayao Miyazaki film? Did you hear about the new Hayao Miyazaki film? Did you hear about the new Hayao Miyazaki film? No, what's it called? No, what's it called? No, what's it called? No, what's it called? It's called How Do You Live. 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 Oh, that sounds interesting. What's it about? 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 It's set in Japan during World War II. It's about a young boy who loses his mother in a fire and then goes on a journey to find her. It's set in Japan during World War II. It's about a young boy who loses his mother in a fire and then goes on a journey to find her. It's set in Japan during World War II. It's about a young boy who loses his mother in a fire and then goes on a journey to find her. It's set in Japan during World War II. It's about a young boy who loses his mother in a fire and then goes on a journey to find her. Wow, that sounds like a heavy topic. 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 It is, but it's also supposed to be really beautiful. Miyazaki is a master at creating these magical worlds that are also full of heart. It is, but it's also supposed to be really beautiful. Miyazaki is a master at creating these magical worlds that are also full of heart. It is but it's also supposed to be really beautiful. Miyazaki is a master at creating these magical worlds that are also full of heart. It is, 
but it's also supposed to be really beautiful. Miyazaki is a master at creating these magical worlds that are also full of heart. I'm definitely going to check it out. 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 Me too. I'm really excited to see what he does with this film. Me too. I'm really excited to see what he does with this film. Me too. I'm really excited to see what he does with this film. Me too. I'm really excited to see what he does with this film. Do you think it will be his last film? Do you think it will be his last film? Do you think it will be his last film? Do you think it will be his last film? I'm not sure. He said in the past that he's going to retire, but then he keeps making more films. I'm not sure. He said in the past that he's going to retire, but then he keeps making more films. I'm not sure. He said in the past that he's going to retire, but then he keeps making more films. I'm not sure. He's said in the past that he's going to retire, but then he keeps making more films. Well, I hope he keeps making them for as long as he can, his films are always so special. Well, I hope he keeps making them for as long as he can, his films are always so special. Well, I hope he keeps making them for as long as he can, his films are always so special. Well, I hope he keeps making them for as long as he can, his films are always so special. Me too, he's a true master of animation. Me too, he's a true master of animation. Me too. He's a true master of animation. Me too. He's a true master of animation. Part 1. Listening Test Hey Jack, I heard that the Cybertruck is now in production. That's right. It's a major milestone for the project. How does the product delivery process work for Tesla? Well, it starts with the unveil, where the company reveals the new product to the public. Then, they start construction on the factory where the product will be built. At the same time, they create prototypes of the product to test out the design and manufacturing process. Once the factory is built and the product design is locked in, they start production. So, how long does it usually take for a Tesla product to go from production to customer deliveries? It depends on the product. The Model Y4680 took 230 days to go from first production to employee deliveries. So, it's still a long road ahead for the Cybertruck, but it's a major milestone that they've started production. That's exciting. I can't wait to see the Cybertruck on the road. Me too. It's going to be a game changer for the electric pickup truck market. I'm sure it will be. Thanks for the explanation, Jack. You're welcome. Part 2. Listening Training Hey Jack, I heard that the Cybertruck is now in production. Hey Jack. I heard that the Cybertruck is now in production. Hey Jack, I heard that the Cybertruck is now in production. Hey Jack, I heard that the Cybertruck is now in production. That's right, 
It's a major milestone for the project. That's right. It's a major milestone for the project. That's right. It's a major milestone for the project. That's right. It's a major milestone for the project. How does the product delivery process work for Tesla? How does the product delivery process work for Tesla? How does the product delivery process work for Tesla? How does the product delivery process work for Tesla? Well, it starts with the unveil, where the company reveals the new product to the public. Well, it starts with the unveil, where the company reveals the new product to the public. Well, it starts with the unveil, where the company reveals the new product to the public. Well, it starts with the unveil, where the company reveals the new product to the public. Then, they start construction on the factory where the product will be built. Then, they start construction on the factory where the product will be built. Then, they start construction on the factory where the product will be built. Then, they start construction on the factory where the product will be built. At the same time, they create prototypes of the product to test out the design and manufacturing process. At the same time, they create prototypes of the product to test out the design and manufacturing process. At the same time, they create prototypes of the product to test out the design and manufacturing process. At the same time, they create prototypes of the product to test out the design and manufacturing process. Once the factory is built and the product design is locked in, they start production. Once the factory is built and the product design is locked in, they start production. Once the factory is built and the product design is locked in, they start production. Once the factory is built and the product design is locked in, they start production. So, how long does it usually take for a Tesla product to go from production to customer deliveries? So, how long does it usually take for a Tesla product to go from production to customer deliveries? So, how long does it usually take for a Tesla product to go from production to customer deliveries? So, how long does it usually take for a Tesla product to go from production to customer deliveries? It depends on the product. 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 The Model Y 4680 took 230 days to go from first production to employee deliveries. The Model Y 4680 took 230 days to go from first production to employee deliveries. The Model Y 4680 took 230 days to go from first production to employee deliveries. The Model Y 4680 took 230 days to go from first production to employee deliveries. So, it's still a long road ahead for the Cybertruck, but it's a major milestone that they've started production. So, it's still a long road ahead for the Cybertruck, but it's a major milestone that they've started production.
So, it's still a long road ahead for the Cybertruck, but it's a major milestone that they've started production. So, it's still a long road ahead for the Cybertruck, but it's a major milestone that they've started production. That's exciting. I can't wait to see the Cybertruck on the road. That's exciting. I can't wait to see the Cybertruck on the road. That's exciting. I can't wait to see the Cybertruck on the road. That's exciting. I can't wait to see the Cybertruck on the road. Me too. It's going to be a game changer for the electric pickup truck market. Me too. It's going to be a game changer for the electric pickup truck market. Me too. It's going to be a game changer for the electric pickup truck market. Me too. It's going to be a game changer for the electric pickup truck market. I'm sure it will be. Thanks for the explanation, Jack. I'm sure it will be. Thanks for the explanation, Jack. I'm sure it will be. Thanks for the explanation, Jack. I'm sure it will be. Thanks for the explanation, Jack. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Part 1. Listening Test Did you hear about the cage fight challenge between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. It's crazy, right? I can't believe they're actually serious about it. I wonder who would win. I don't know. Zuckerberg has some jiu-jitsu experience, but Musk is a lot bigger and stronger. Yeah, but Musk is also kind of a klutz. He might trip over his own feet and fall into Zuckerberg's submission hold. That's true. It would be a close fight for sure. I'm definitely going to watch it if it happens. Me too. It should be a lot of fun. I wonder if they'll actually go through with it. I don't know, but it would be pretty epic if they did. Yeah, it would be. I'm going to go ahead and start placing my bets now. Good luck. I'm rooting for Musk, but I wouldn't be surprised if Zuckerberg won. Me neither. It's going to be a close one, for sure. Part 2. Listening Training did you hear about the cage fight challenge between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg? Did you hear about the cage fight challenge between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg? Did you hear about the cage fight challenge between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg? Did you hear about the cage fight challenge between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. It's crazy, right? Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. It's crazy, right? Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. It's crazy, right? Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. It's crazy, right? I can't believe they're actually serious about it. 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 I wonder who would win. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Zuckerberg has some jiu-jitsu experience, but Musk is a lot bigger and stronger.
Zuckerberg has some jiu-jitsu experience, but Musk is a lot bigger and stronger. Zuckerberg has some jiu-jitsu experience, but Musk is a lot bigger and stronger. Zuckerberg has some jiu-jitsu experience, but Musk is a lot bigger and stronger. Yeah, but Musk is also kind of a klutz. Yeah, but Musk is also kind of a klutz. Yeah, but Musk is also kind of a klutz. Yeah, but Musk is also kind of a klutz. He might trip over his own feet and fall into Zuckerberg's submission hold. He might trip over his own feet and fall into Zuckerberg's submission hold. He might trip over his own feet and fall into Zuckerberg's submission hold. He might trip over his own feet and fall into Zuckerberg's submission hold. That's true. It would be a close fight for sure. That's true. It would be a close fight for sure. That's true. It would be a close fight for sure. That's true. It would be a close fight for sure. I'm definitely going to watch it if it happens. I'm definitely going to watch it if it happens. I'm definitely going to watch it if it happens. I'm definitely going to watch it if it happens. Me too. It should be a lot of fun. Me too. It should be a lot of fun. Me too. It should be a lot of fun. Me too. It should be a lot of fun. I wonder if they'll actually go through with it. I wonder if they'll actually go through with it. I wonder if they'll actually go through with it. I wonder if they'll actually go through with it. I don't know, but it would be pretty epic if they did. I don't know, but it would be pretty epic if they did. I don't know, but it would be pretty epic if they did. I don't know, but it would be pretty epic if they did. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be. I'm going to go ahead and start placing my bets now. I'm going to go ahead and start placing my bets now. I'm going to go ahead and start placing my bets now. I'm going to go ahead and start placing my bets now. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I'm rooting for Musk, but I wouldn't be surprised if Zuckerberg won. I'm rooting for Musk, but I wouldn't be surprised if Zuckerberg won. I'm rooting for Musk, but I wouldn't be surprised if Zuckerberg won. I'm rooting for Musk, but I wouldn't be surprised if Zuckerberg won. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. It's going to be a close one, for sure. It's going to be a close one, for sure. It's going to be a close one, for sure. It's going to be a close one, for sure. Part 1. Listening Test Did you hear that Elon Musk's birthday is coming up? Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. He's turning 52. I wonder if he's having a party. I bet he is. He's probably going to have a big party, with all of his friends and family. I wish I could go. 
Me too. It would be so cool to meet Elon Musk. I wonder how you can get invited to his party. I don't know. Maybe you could try following him on social media and interacting with his posts. That's a good idea. I could also try attending one of his events. Yeah, that would be a good way to get on his radar. I'm going to start working on it right away. I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Thanks. I'll need all the luck I can get. Let me know if you get invited. I'd love to hear all about it. Will do. Part 2 Listening Training Did you hear that Elon Musk's birthday is coming up? Did you hear that Elon Musk's birthday is coming up? Did you hear that Elon Musk's birthday is coming up? Did you hear that Elon Musk's birthday is coming up? Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. He's turning 52. Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. He's turning 52. Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. He's turning 52. Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. He's turning 52. I wonder if he's having a party. 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 I bet he is. I bet he is. I bet he is. I bet he is. He's probably going to have a big party with all of his friends and family. He's probably going to have a big party with all of his friends and family. He's probably going to have a big party with all of his friends and family. He's probably going to have a big party with all of his friends and family. I wish I could go. 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 Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. It would be so cool to meet Elon Musk. It would be so cool to meet Elon Musk. It would be so cool to meet Elon Musk. It would be so cool to meet Elon Musk. I wonder how you can get invited to his party. I wonder how you can get invited to his party. I wonder how you can get invited to his party. I wonder how you can get invited to his party. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you could try following him on social media and interacting with his posts. Maybe you could try following him on social media and interacting with his posts. Maybe you could try following him on social media and interacting with his posts. Maybe you could try following him on social media and interacting with his posts. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I could also try attending one of his events. I could also try attending one of his events. I could also try attending one of his events. I could also try attending one of his events. Yeah, that would be a good way to get on his radar. Yeah, that would be a good way to get on his radar. Yeah, that would be a good way to get on his radar. Yeah, that would be a good way to get on his radar. 
I'm going to start working on it right away. I'm going to start working on it right away. I'm going to start working on it right away. I'm going to start working on it right away. I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. 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 Thanks. I'll need all the luck I can get. Thanks. I'll need all the luck I can get. Thanks. I'll need all the luck I can get. Thanks. I'll need all the luck I can get. Let me know if you get invited. 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 I'd love to hear all about it. 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 Will do. Will do. Will do. Will do. Part 1. Listening Test Hey Henry, did you hear that Apple is rumored to be releasing the first Macs with an M3 chip in October? Yeah, I heard that. I'm pretty excited. I've been hearing good things about the M3 chip. Me too. I'm thinking about getting a new 13-inch MacBook Pro with the M3 chip. That's a good choice. The 13-inch MacBook Pro is a great laptop. And the M3 chip is supposed to be even better than the M2 chip. Yeah, it's supposed to be a lot faster and more efficient. I wonder if they'll release a new 24-inch iMac with the M3 chip. That would be awesome. I love the 24-inch iMac. Me too. It's such a beautiful computer. And it's so powerful. Yeah, it's the perfect all-around computer. I agree. I'm definitely going to get one if they release one with the M3 chip. Me too. I can't wait to see what Apple has in store for us in October. Me neither. It's going to be a great month for Apple fans. Cheers to that! Part 2. Listening Training Hey Henry, did you hear that Apple is rumored to be releasing the first Macs with an M3 chip in October? Hey Henry, did you hear that Apple is rumored to be releasing the first Macs with an M3 chip in October? Hey Henry, did you hear that Apple is rumored to be releasing the first Macs with an M3 chip in October? Hey Henry, did you hear that Apple is rumored to be releasing the first Macs with an M3 chip in October? Yeah, I heard that. I'm pretty excited. I've been hearing good things about the M3 chip. Yeah, I heard that. I'm pretty excited. I've been hearing good things about the M3 chip. Yeah, I heard that. I'm pretty excited. I've been hearing good things about the M3 chip. Yeah, I heard that. I'm pretty excited. I've been hearing good things about the M3 chip. Me too. I'm thinking about getting a new 13-inch MacBook Pro with the M3 chip. Me too. I'm thinking about getting a new 13-inch MacBook Pro with the M3 chip. Me too. I'm thinking about getting a new 13-inch MacBook Pro with the M3 chip. Me too. 
I'm thinking about getting a new 13-inch MacBook Pro with the M3 chip. That's a good choice. The 13-inch MacBook Pro is a great laptop. That's a good choice. The 13-inch MacBook Pro is a great laptop. That's a good choice. The 13-inch MacBook Pro is a great laptop. That's a good choice. The 13-inch MacBook Pro is a great laptop. And the M3 chip is supposed to be even better than the M2 chip. And the M3 chip is supposed to be even better than the M2 chip. And the M3 chip is supposed to be even better than the M2 chip. And the M3 chip is supposed to be even better than the M2 chip. Yeah, it's supposed to be a lot faster and more efficient. Yeah, it's supposed to be a lot faster and more efficient. Yeah, it's supposed to be a lot faster and more efficient. Yeah, it's supposed to be a lot faster and more efficient. I wonder if they'll release a new 24-inch iMac with the M3 chip. I wonder if they'll release a new 24-inch iMac with the M3 chip. I wonder if they'll release a new 24-inch iMac with the M3 chip. I wonder if they'll release a new 24-inch iMac with the M3 chip. That would be awesome. I love the 24-inch iMac. That would be awesome. I love the 24-inch iMac. That would be awesome. I love the 24-inch iMac. That would be awesome. I love the 24-inch iMac. Me too. It's such a beautiful computer. 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 And it's so powerful. And it's so powerful. And it's so powerful. And it's so powerful. Yeah, it's the perfect all around computer. Yeah, it's the perfect all around computer. Yeah, it's the perfect all around computer. Yeah, it's the perfect all-around computer. I agree. I'm definitely going to get one if they release one with the M3 chip. I agree. I'm definitely going to get one if they release one with the M3 chip. I agree. I'm definitely going to get one if they release one with the M3 chip. I agree. I'm definitely going to get one if they release one with the M3 chip. Me too. I can't wait to see what Apple has in store for us in October. Me too. I can't wait to see what Apple has in store for us in October. Me too. I can't wait to see what Apple has in store for us in October. Me too. I can't wait to see what Apple has in store for us in October. Me neither. It's going to be a great month for Apple fans. Me neither. It's going to be a great month for Apple fans. Me neither. It's going to be a great month for Apple fans. Me neither. It's going to be a great month for Apple fans. 
Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Part 1. Listening Test Did you see the article about Apple's new VR headset? Yeah, I did. It looks pretty cool. I'm not sure. It looks like a bit of a gimmick to me. I don't know. It could be really useful for gaming or business. Maybe, but it's also really expensive. True. But I think Apple products are usually worth the price. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I'm not convinced that this is the next big thing. I'm still excited to see what Apple does with it. Me too. It could be really cool, or it could be a big flop. Only time will tell. I guess so. Well, I'm going to go check out some more articles about it. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Part 2. Listening Training Did you see the article about Apple's new VR headset? Did you see the article about Apple's new VR headset? Did you see the article about Apple's new VR headset? Did you see the article about Apple's new VR headset? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It looks like a bit of a gimmick to me. It looks like a bit of a gimmick to me. It looks like a bit of a gimmick to me. It looks like a bit of a gimmick to me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It could be really useful for gaming or business. It could be really useful for gaming or business. It could be really useful for gaming or business. It could be really useful for gaming or business. Maybe, but it's also really expensive. Maybe, but it's also really expensive. Maybe. But it's also really expensive. Maybe. But it's also really expensive. True. But I think Apple products are usually worth the price. True. But I think Apple products are usually worth the price. True. But I think Apple products are usually worth the price. True. But I think Apple products are usually worth the price. I guess we'll have to wait and see. 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 But I'm not convinced that this is the next big thing. But I'm not convinced that this is the next big thing. But I'm not convinced that this is the next big thing. But I'm not convinced that this is the next big thing. I'm still excited to see what Apple does with it. I'm still excited to see what Apple does with it. I'm still excited to see what Apple does with it. I'm still excited to see what Apple does with it. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. It could be really cool, or it could be a big flop.
It could be really cool, or it could be a big flop. It could be really cool, or it could be a big flop. It could be really cool, or it could be a big flop. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. Well, I'm going to go check out some more articles about it. Well, I'm going to go check out some more articles about it. Well, I'm going to go check out some more articles about it. Well, I'm going to go check out some more articles about it. Okay, I'll see you later. 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 Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Part 1, Listening Test I love Beyond. They're one of my favorite bands. Me too. I grew up listening to their music. What's your favorite song? It's hard to choose, but I think Boundless Oceans, Vast Skies is my favorite. That's a great song. I also love Amani and The Wall. Yeah, those are both great songs too. Beyond's music is so inspiring. I'm sure, they're one of the best bands ever. Couldn't agree more. I have a lot of Beyond albums in my collection. I listen to them a lot and I love the feeling of being immersed in the music. It was incredible, I'll never forget it. Me neither. Part 2 Listening Training I love Beyond. They're one of my favorite bands. I love Beyond. They're one of my favorite bands. I love Beyond. They're one of my favorite bands. I love Beyond. They're one of my favorite bands. Me too. I grew up listening to their music. Me too. I grew up listening to their music. Me too. I grew up listening to their music. Me too. I grew up listening to their music. What's your favorite song? What's your favorite song? What's your favorite song? What's your favorite song? It's hard to choose, but I think Boundless Oceans, Vast Skies is my favorite. It's hard to choose, but I think Boundless Oceans. Vast Skies is my favorite. It's hard to choose, but I think Boundless Oceans, Vast Skies is my favorite. It's hard to choose, but I think Boundless Oceans, Vast Skies is my favorite. That's a great song. I also love Amani and The Wall. That's a great song. I also love Amani and The Wall. That's a great song. I also love Amani and The Wall. That's a great song. I also love Amani and The Wall. Yeah, those are both great songs too. Beyond's music is so inspiring. Yeah. Those are both great songs too. Beyond's music is so inspiring. 
Yeah, those are both great songs too. Beyond's music is so inspiring. Yeah, those are both great songs too. Beyond's music is so inspiring. I'm sure they're one of the best bands ever. I'm sure they're one of the best bands ever. I'm sure they're one of the best bands ever. I'm sure they're one of the best bands ever. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. I have a lot of Beyond albums in my collection. I have a lot of Beyond albums in my collection. I have a lot of Beyond albums in my collection. I have a lot of Beyond albums in my collection. I listen to them a lot and I love the feeling of being immersed in the music. I listen to them a lot and I love the feeling of being immersed in the music. I listen to them a lot and I love the feeling of being immersed in the music. I listen to them a lot and I love the feeling of being immersed in the music. It was incredible. I'll never forget it. 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 Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Part 1. Listening Test Jack is 30 years old, has a good job, but doesn't have a girlfriend. Why don't you have a girlfriend? You need a girlfriend so you can get married and have kids. Maybe it's because I haven't met the right person. I found the perfect girl for us. Her mom says she's looking for a husband. Forget it. I'm not going to date someone who's desperate to get married. She probably isn't married yet because there's something wrong with her. Really? Maybe there's something wrong with you too. Maybe two wrongs can make a right. Mom, that's a terrible thing to say. I'm just joking. But seriously, Jack, you need to start dating. You're not getting any younger. I know, Mom. I'll start looking, but I'm not going to settle for just anyone. That's my boy. Part 2. Listening Training Jack is 30 years old, has a good job, but doesn't have a girlfriend. Jack is 30 years old, has a good job, but doesn't have a girlfriend. Jack is 30 years old, has a good job, but doesn't have a girlfriend. Jack is 30 years old, has a good job, but doesn't have a girlfriend. Why don't you have a girlfriend? 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 You need a girlfriend so you can get married and have kids. You need a girlfriend so you can get married and have kids. You need a girlfriend so you can get married and have kids. You need a girlfriend so you can get married and have kids. Maybe it's because I haven't met the right person. Maybe it's because I haven't met the right person. Maybe it's because I haven't met the right person. 
Maybe it's because I haven't met the right person. I found the perfect girl for us. Her mom says she's looking for a husband. I found the perfect girl for us. Her mom says she's looking for a husband. I found the perfect girl for us. Her mom says she's looking for a husband. I found the perfect girl for us. Her mom says she's looking for a husband. Forget it. I'm not going to date someone who's desperate to get married. Forget it. I'm not going to date someone who's desperate to get married. Forget it. I'm not going to date someone who's desperate to get married. Forget it. I'm not going to date someone who's desperate to get married. She probably isn't married yet because there's something wrong with her. She probably isn't married yet because there's something wrong with her. She probably isn't married yet because there's something wrong with her. She probably isn't married yet because there's something wrong with her. Really? Maybe there's something wrong with you too. Maybe two wrongs can make a right. Really? Maybe there's something wrong with you too. Maybe two wrongs can make a right. Really? Maybe there's something wrong with you too. Maybe two wrongs can make a right. Really? Maybe there's something wrong with you too. Maybe two wrongs can make a right. Mom, that's a terrible thing to say. 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 I'm just joking. But seriously, Jack, you need to start dating. You're not getting any younger. I'm just joking. But seriously, Jack, you need to start dating. You're not getting any younger. I'm just joking. But seriously, Jack, you need to start dating. You're not getting any younger. I'm just joking. But seriously, Jack, you need to start dating. You're not getting any younger. I know, Mom. I'll start looking, but I'm not going to settle for just anyone. I know, Mom. I'll start looking, but I'm not going to settle for just anyone. I know, Mom. I'll start looking, but I'm not going to settle for just anyone. I know, Mom. I'll start looking. But I'm not going to settle for just anyone. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Part 1. Listening Test Mom! I can't find my homework. Don't worry, we'll find it. Where did you last see it? I think I left it on the kitchen table. Okay, let's go check. Mina and her mom go to the kitchen table. It's not here. Where else could it be? I don't know. I looked in my backpack, but it's not there either. Okay, let's think. Where else could you have put it? I don't know. Maybe I left it in my room. Okay, let's go check. Mina and her mom go to Mina's room. Oh, 
There it is. It was under my bed. Good job finding it. Now, let's get you to school. Okay, thanks, Mom. Part 2. Listening Training Mom, I can't find my homework. 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 Don't worry, we'll find it. Where did you last see it? Don't worry, we'll find it. Where did you last see it? Don't worry, we'll find it. Where did you last see it? Don't worry, we'll find it. Where did you last see it? I think I left it on the kitchen table. I think I left it on the kitchen table. I think I left it on the kitchen table. I think I left it on the kitchen table. Okay, let's go check. Okay, let's go check. Okay, let's go check. Okay, let's go check. Mina and her mom go to the kitchen table. Mina and her mom go to the kitchen table. Mina and her mom go to the kitchen table. Mina and her mom go to the kitchen table. It's not here. Where else could it be? 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 I don't know. I looked in my backpack, but it's not there either. I don't know. I looked in my backpack. But it's not there either. I don't know. I looked in my backpack. But it's not there either. I don't know. I looked in my backpack. But it's not there either. Okay. Let's think. Where else could you have put it? Okay. Let's think. Where else could you have put it? Okay. Let's think. Where else could you have put it? Okay. Let's think. Where else could you have put it? I don't know. Maybe I left it in my room. I don't know. Maybe I left it in my room. I don't know. Maybe I left it in my room. I don't know. Maybe I left it in my room. Okay, let's go check. Okay, let's go check. Okay, let's go check. Okay, let's go check. Mina and her mom go to Mina's room. 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 Oh. There it is. It was under my bed. Oh, there it is. It was under my bed. 
Oh, there it is. It was under my bed. Oh, there it is. It was under my bed. Good job finding it. Now, let's get you to school. Good job finding it. Now, let's get you to school. Good job finding it. Now, let's get you to school. Good job finding it. Now, let's get you to school. Okay, thanks, Mom. Okay, thanks, Mom. Okay, thanks, Mom. Okay, thanks, Mom. Part 1. Listening Test Hi, I'm looking to mail some books to New York. Can you help me? Sure, I can help you with that. How many books are you mailing? There are three books. Okay, and where in New York are you mailing them to? I'm mailing them to my friend's apartment in Manhattan. Okay, I'll need the address of your friend's apartment. Sure. The address is 123 Main Street, New York, NY 10001. Okay, I have the address. The postage for three books to New York is $15. That's fine. Okay, I'll need you to fill out this mailing label. Sure. Okay, I'll need you to pay for the postage. Here you go. Thank you. I'll mail your books out today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Part 2. Listening Training Hi. I'm looking to mail some books to New York. Can you help me? Hi. I'm looking to mail some books to New York. Can you help me? Hi. I'm looking to mail some books to New York. Can you help me? Hi. I'm looking to mail some books to New York. Can you help me? Sure. I can help you with that. How many books are you mailing? Sure, I can help you with that. How many books are you mailing? Sure, I can help you with that. How many books are you mailing? Sure, I can help you with that. How many books are you mailing? There are three books. There are three books. There are three books. There are three books. Okay, and where in New York are you mailing them to? Okay, and where in New York are you mailing them to? Okay, and where in New York are you mailing them to? Okay, and where in New York are you mailing them to? Okay, I'm mailing them to my friend's apartment in Manhattan. I'm mailing them to my friend's apartment in Manhattan. I'm mailing them to my friend's apartment in Manhattan. I'm mailing them to my friend's apartment in Manhattan. Okay, I'll need the address of your friend's apartment. Okay. I'll need the address of your friend's apartment. Okay, I'll need the address of your friend's apartment. Okay, I'll need the address of your friend's apartment. Sure. The address is 123 Main Street, New York, NY 10001. Sure. The address is 123 Main Street, New York, NY 10001. Sure. The address is 123 Main Street, New York, 
NY 10001. Sure. The address is 123 Main Street, New York, NY 10001. Okay, I have the address. The postage for three books to New York is $15. Okay, I have the address. The postage for three books to New York is $15. Okay, I have the address. The postage for three books to New York is $15. Okay, I have the address. The postage for three books to New York is $15. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I'll need you to fill out this mailing label. Okay, I'll need you to fill out this mailing label. Okay, I'll need you to fill out this mailing label. Okay, I'll need you to fill out this mailing label. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Okay, I'll need you to pay for the postage. Okay, I'll need you to pay for the postage. Okay, I'll need you to pay for the postage. Okay, I'll need you to pay for the postage. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you. I'll mail your books out today. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Part 1. Listening Test Jack, what's a cluster bomb? It's a weapon that releases or ejects smaller submunitions over a wide area. Like what? Bomblets, typically. They contain explosives and are designed to kill or injure personnel or destroy vehicles. So they're like landmines? Kind of, but they're dropped from aircraft or fired from artillery or ground-launched rockets. That sounds dangerous. It is. Cluster bombs can cause widespread civilian casualties. Why? Because the submunitions are often not designed to self-destruct and they can remain unexploded for years after a conflict has ended. So they can just go off at any time? That's right. They're a deadly hazard to civilians who may mistake them for toys or other objects. That's awful. It is. Cluster bombs are a terrible weapon. Part 2. Listening Training Jack, what's a cluster bomb? 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 It's a weapon that releases or ejects smaller submunitions over a wide area. It's a weapon that releases or ejects smaller submunitions over a wide area. It's a weapon that releases or ejects smaller submunitions over a wide area.
It's a weapon that releases or ejects smaller submunitions over a wide area. Like what? Like what? Like what? Like what? Bomblets, typically, they contain explosives and are designed to kill or injure personnel or destroy vehicles. Bomblets, typically, they contain explosives and are designed to kill or injure personnel or destroy vehicles. Bomblets, typically, they contain explosives and are designed to kill or injure personnel or destroy vehicles. Bomblets, typically, they contain explosives and are designed to kill or injure personnel or destroy vehicles. So they're like landmines? So they're like landmines? So they're like landmines? So they're like landmines? Kind of, but they're dropped from aircraft or fired from artillery or ground-launched rockets. Kind of, but they're dropped from aircraft or fired from artillery or ground-launched rockets. Kind of, but they're dropped from aircraft or fired from artillery or ground-launched rockets. Kind of but they're dropped from aircraft or fired from artillery or ground-launched rockets. That sounds dangerous. That sounds dangerous. That sounds dangerous. That sounds dangerous. It is. Cluster bombs can cause widespread civilian casualties. It is. Cluster bombs can cause widespread civilian casualties. It is. Cluster bombs can cause widespread civilian casualties. It is. Cluster bombs can cause widespread civilian casualties. Why? 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 Because the submunitions are often not designed to self-destruct and they can remain unexploded for years after a conflict has ended. Because the submunitions are often not designed to self-destruct and they can remain unexploded for years after a conflict has ended. Because the submunitions are often not designed to self-destruct, and they can remain unexploded for years after a conflict has ended. Because the submunitions are often not designed to self-destruct, and they can remain unexploded for years after a conflict has ended. So they can just go off at any time? So they can just go off at any time? So they can just go off at any time? So they can just go off at any time? That's right. They're a deadly hazard to civilians who may mistake them for toys or other objects. That's right. They're a deadly hazard to civilians who may mistake them for toys or other objects. That's right, they're a deadly hazard to civilians, who may mistake them for toys or other objects. That's right, they're a deadly hazard to civilians, who may mistake them for toys or other objects. That's awful. That's awful. That's awful. That's awful. It is. Cluster bombs are a terrible weapon. It is. 
Cluster bombs are a terrible weapon. It is. Cluster bombs are a terrible weapon. It is. Cluster bombs are a terrible weapon. Part 1. Listening Training Did you hear about the attempted mutiny in Russia? Did you hear about the attempted mutiny in Russia? Did you hear about the attempted mutiny in Russia? Did you hear about the attempted mutiny in Russia? Yes, it's crazy. Yes, it's crazy. Yes, it's crazy. Yes, it's crazy. Of Wagner fighters tried to take over Moscow. A group of Wagner fighters tried to take over Moscow. A group of Wagner fighters tried to take over Moscow. A group of Wagner fighters tried to take over Moscow. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. I can't believe they got so far. 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 Yeah, they really caught the government off guard. 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 What do you think will happen next? 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Putin is probably pretty shaken up by this. 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 Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet. This could be a sign that his grip on power is slipping. This could be. A sign that his grip on power is slipping. This could be a sign that his grip on power is slipping. This could be a sign that his grip on power is slipping. It could be. It could be. It could be. It could be. But it's also possible that he'll just crack down even harder. But it's also possible that he'll just crack down even harder. But it's also possible that he'll just crack down even harder. But it's also possible that he'll just crack down even harder. Either way, it's not looking good for Putin. 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 No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. This is a major turning point for Russia. 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 I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. 
It'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. It'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. It'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. It'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about this in the coming days. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about this in the coming days. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about this in the coming days. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about this in the coming days. 好了，今天的视频就到这里了。喜欢的朋友记得点赞、订阅、评论哦。